Jehovah shall say Jehovah shall. Jehovah will. Jehovah shall. Jehovah will deliver me from the hands of my adversaries, from the hands of my enemies. He will make known his name to my enemies and demonstrate his power to frustrate their evil enterprise against me and show me his salvation. I prophesy to somebody, I'm telling you within 24 hours. I'm prophesying to you within 48 hours. I'm prophesying to somebody within the next three days. God will demonstrate his power. He will make known his name to your adversary. He will terrorize those who are terrorizing you. He will fight those who are fighting you. He will contend with those who are contending with you. He will defeat those who have been defeating you. He will attack those who have been attacking you. He will kill those who want you dead. He will destroy those who have been destroying you. He will abort and frustrate their, all their plans against you because he is tearing open the heavens and is coming down just because of you. All tests in your mother's house, all tests in your father's house, witches and wizards who have come in their coven, plotting your downfall before the end of this month so that you will not enter into the next season, the next month to celebrate the goodness of God. They shall be confounded. They shall be put to shame. They shall be made mad. Their plans will be thwarted and frustrated by Jehovah God. Oh God, that you will tear open the heavens and come down. Come down, Jehovah. Come down, Jehovah. Come down, Lord Jesus. Come down, Lord Jesus, and liberate your children. Come down, Lord Jesus, and heal your children. Come down, Jesus, and restore your children. Come down, Jesus, and make a way for us where they seem to grow away. Come down, Jesus, and provide all our needs according to your riches and glory. Come down, Jesus, and show us your salvation. Come down, Jesus, and fight our adversaries for us in the name of Jesus. Oh, that you will tear open the heavens and come down, that the mountains may quake at your presence. As the fire kindles brush wood, as the fire causes water to boil, to make your name known to our adversaries that the nations may tremble at your presence that the nations will tremble at your presence whatever is standing before you whatever is opposing you whatever is resisting you whatever is attacking you may god cause them to begin to tremble and fall tremble and fall tremble and fall lord cause my enemy say lord jesus lord jesus lord jesus lord jesus cause my enemies to tremble and fall let them tremble and fall let them tremble and fall let the witches and wizards, let the demonic spirit, let the ancestral spirit, let the spirit husband and spirit wives, let them tremble and fall. Let my enemies, let my enemies, let my adversaries, let them tremble, but let them fall. Let them tremble, let them fall. Please type tremble and fall. Let them tremble and fall. Prophesy seven times. Let my enemies tremble and fall. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ, whoever is coming against you, whoever is fighting you, whoever is practicing witchcraft against you, whoever is practicing sorcery against you, whoever is practicing enchantment and black magic against you whoever is using the sun the sun to to strike you by by day and who's using the moon to smite you by night whoever is using your name and your picture to practice sorcery and enchantment against you voodoo and juju and obia and santaria against you may god cause your adversaries to stumble and fall may they stumble may they fall those who have set trap for your your life those who want you to be engaged in an accident those who want you to be hit with stroke those who have rejected sickness disease calamities cancer diabetes stroke high blood pressure a heart attack those who are wanting you to fall down and die mysteriously may they tremble may they tremble may they fall those who are trying to make you lose your job those who are wanting you to be homeless those who are wanting you to lose your possession lose your car lose your house lose your marriage lose your children hey may they tremble may they fall may they tremble may they fall whoever's risen up against you at your workplace whoever's risen up against you in your family whoever's risen up against you at 
attacking you in your dreams. Today I came to prophesy the prophetic word of the Lord. May thy enemies, may your enemies, may your adversaries tremble and fall because God is renting the heavens, tearing open the heavens and is descending down and may the mountains and your adversaries begin to shake and begin to tremble and fall at the presence of Jehovah. We serve a living God. Ah, thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, that you are with us. We have divine backing. Say, I have divine backing. I have divine backing. I have divine backing. That the nations will tremble at your presence. When you did all some things which we did not expect. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. When you did awesome things which we did not expect, you came down the mountains quick at your presence. When you did awesome things which we did not expect, God is bringing his prophetic word to you. Precious one, I urge you, I admonish you, I beseech you by the mercies of God, believe this prophetic word. God will do an awesome, an awesome wonders, an awesome thing in your life which you do not even expect. I told you my story yesterday, after prayer, after yesterday prayer, in 24 hours, oh, the prophetic word of God was coming and I was just declaring it. After the prayers, I was just sitting down, relaxing for the next 15 minutes. By the time I realized, do this, do that, do this, do this, the problem resolved. A problem of four months, six months, whatever the month is, was resolved. God did wondrous things which I did not expect. He came through. Somebody, God is coming through in the next 24 hours. God is coming through in the next 72 hours. God is coming through in the next 48 hours. God is coming through before the end of this week. God is coming through before the end of this month. God is visiting your situation. God is visiting your marriage. God is visiting your health. God is visiting your finances. God is visiting your daughter, your son. God is visiting your husband. God is visiting your needs. God is visiting your situation and turning situations around. He is performing wonders. He is performing miracles. He is performing wonders which you do not even expect because he loves you and his God all by himself. Oh, that you would tear open the heavens and come down. Today, all you need is, Lord, tear open the heavens and come down. Because when God tears open the heavens and come down, the first thing that happens is that mountains and problems in your life will begin to shake and quake. When God tears open the heavens and comes down, issues in your lives will begin to be consumed by his fire. He says, as fire kindles the brush wood and as fire causes water to boil, anything that has, is becoming an inhibition, encumbrances, obstacles, resistance, opposition to you, the holy, the presence of God coming with fire will burn it into ashes, will burn it into ashes. So the first thing is that when God rents the heavens and open the heavens to visit you and come down, mountains, I'm talking about stubborn mountainous situations will begin to quake, will begin to tremble because they have to be now become a plain. Mountains will become plain, hills become plain, and then stubborn obstacles will be consumed by his fire. And to make your name known to your our adversaries. And God will make his name known to his, your adversaries. Meaning that he will confront those who are confronting you. He will fight those who are fighting you. He will challenge those who are challenging you. He will destroy those who want to destroy. He will even kill those who wish you dead. Because he's going to make known his name to your adversary. He made known his name to Pharaoh. Let my people go. That they may serve me. He says, I will not let you go. I will not let you go. God slayed, God killed, God drowned Pharaoh. Whoever is opposing you as an adversary, the Lord in the name, you will not cross into next month. You will not cross into next week. You will not finish this week with them in the name of Jesus. The Lord will fight for you. The Lord will oppose them. The Lord will resist them. The Lord will destroy them for you. To make known his name to your adversaries, that the nations will tremble at your presence. Enemies that have ganged up, assembled, have teamed up, have come, co co have, have become alliance against you, they will begin to tremble and they will begin to fall. 
and then lastly he will do awesome things in your life which you do not expect in the name of our lord jesus christ before the end of this week before the end of this month may somebody experience the wonder working power of jesus the wonder working miracles of jesus the wonder working breakthroughs of jesus christ in the name of jesus a simple prayer oh lord tear open the heavens and come down and visit me oh lord tear open rent the heavens rent the heavens for my sake lord rent the heavens the month is coming to an end the week is coming to an end tear open lord tear open oh lord and intervene tear open lord and visit my money my finances visit my job visit my health visit my son visit my daughter visit me oh lord concerning this job situation this interview this court case lord tear open the heavens and come down and fight my my enemies my adversaries that are content with me tear open the heavens and lord cause mountains and challenges and obstacles and hindrances that is before me consume them into ashes tear open and cause my enemies to tremble and fall lord tear open rend the heavens tear open and lift up your voice and begin to pray this prophetic prayer and receive this prophetic answers to your prayers by faith in the name of jesus god is faithful hallelujah begin to pray begin to pray may the lord tear open may the lord tear open the heavens May the Lord Jesus tear open the heavens and come down for your sake. Come down for the sake of your sons and daughters. Come down for our sake on this prayer line. May the Lord tear open and visit us in a mighty, unique, sovereign way. Rapa Sata Laba. Oh, that you will tear open the heavens and come down. Let the mountains in our lives, oh Lord Almighty, oh tear open. Let the heavens be open. Let the heavens be open over your life, over your son, over your daughter, over your marriage, over your finances. Let the heavens be open over our lives. Let the heavens be open. Lord, come down. Lord, come down. Lord Jesus, come down. Lord Jesus, come down. Visit me. Body, soul, and spirit. Visit my wife. Body, soul, and spirit. My daughters. Body, soul, and spirit. My son. Body, soul, and spirit. Visit this marriage. Visit this house. Visit this ministry. Visit us, our, our members. See, open the heavens and visit us. Come down, oh God. Come down, oh God. Visit us in a mighty, special way. Ha, Oh Lord, tear open the heavens. Come down and deliver me. Come down and rescue me. Come down, protect me. Come down, strengthen me. Come down and empower me with the Holy Ghost and power, with the Holy Ghost and fire, with fresh oil, fresh fire, fresh anointing, fresh grace, fresh grace. Papa. That you tear open the heavens and come down. Lord, that you tear open the heavens and come down on my life in our lives, oh God. May God tear open the heavens and come down and visit you. Visit your wife, visit your husband, visit your children, visit your finances, visit your health, visit your finances, visit your marriage, visit your life. Rakataya, mekon nokoto, makata lakatos, makuni yanta, mekuni mikaya, reka bonokoto, rabadabada, rabadaba. That the mountains may quake. Let the mountains that stand before you, let the hills that stand before you, let them quake and let them become a plain. Let them quake and let them become valleys. Let them quake and let them crumble and fall. Let them quake and let them be leveled. Let every mountain before you be leveled, be leveled, be leveled, be leveled. Like the walls of Jericho. Let them crumble and fall and become leveled in your life. May every mountain quake and be leveled. Break and be leveled. Every mountain of obstacle, every mountain of difficulty, every mountain of challenges, every mountain of impossibility, every mountain of sickness, every mountain of disease, every mountain of witchcraft, every mountain of evil authors, every mountain of delay, every mountain of stagnation, every mountain of poverty, every mountain of financial hardship. Let the mountains become a plain. Let the mountains of unemployment, the mountains of singleness, the mountains of demonic attacks become.
become a plane, become a plane. Mount Olabilis, Mount Olabilis, Mount Olabilis, Mount Olabilis. Let mountains quake at your presence, O oh God, and let them become a plane. I command mountains in my life. I command mountains, someone's life, so this life, as life, mountains in first fire ministry, mountains in my own life. Raka, my ministry to become a plane. Every mountain of limitation become a plane. Every mountain of challenges become a plane. Every mountain of witchcraft become a plane. Raka Baya, Ripon Polybidis, Rampon Polybidos, Mantala Vicatecate, Marocco Tola Bodos, Rampan Talaba, Riba Baba. Let the mountains quake at your presence. As fire kindles the brush wood, as fire causes water to boil, so let your consuming fire burn it to ashes. Every obstacle in my life, every obstacle in your life, every obstacle in our lives, let every obstacle catch fire, burn it to ashes. Obstacles to our miracles, obstacles to our blessing, obstacles to our deliverance, obstacles to our healing, obstacles to our prosperity, obstacles to our prosperity progress let them be consumed by fire the fire of god's presence the fire of god's presence let obstacles catch fire burn it to ashes catch fire burn it to ashes catch fire burn it to ashes every obstacles before your life every obstacles blocking you hindering you delaying you obstructing you let the fire of jehovah Burn it into ashes, burn it into ashes, burn it into ashes, burn it into ashes. I command the obstacles that is causing unemployment, the obstacles that is causing you not to get a job, the obstacles that is causing you not to get your raise, that is causing you not to be able to get your employment, that is causing you not to be able to start your business. Every obstacle to a miracle, let it catch fire, burn it to ashes, burn it to ashes, burn it to ashes by the presence of God's fire. Raka pa 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 pa. In the name of Jesus, oh that you may make known your name to our adversaries father make known our your name to our adversaries fight those who are fighting against us any witch any wizard any warlord any agent of darkness every principality powers rulers spiritual wickedness and have high places every familiar spirit ancestral spirit spiritual spouse any evil authors any unclean spirit any demonic foul spirit that has risen up against us father god contend with them lord fight them lord destroy them lord kill them lord destroy them lord scatter them lord frustrate their plans lord toward their plans in the name of jesus contend oh god with those who are contending against us contend oh lord with those who are contending with us fight them them, oh Lord, for us, fight them for us, O oh Lord. Father, plead our cause, O oh God. Plead our cause, O oh Lord. Confound our enemies. Destroy their plans. Destroy their plot. Destroy their scheme. Overturn their evil counsel against us. Lord Jesus, destroy our enemies. Those who want us dead, Lord, slay them, slaughter them, massacre them. By make known your name to Pharaoh in our lives in the name of Jesus. That the nations may tremble at your presence. Father, cause our enemies. Cause our foes, cause the wicked, cause our haters, our critics, those who wish our downfall. Let them tremble and fall. Let our enemies tremble and fall. Let our enemies tremble and fall. Let our enemies tremble and fall. In the mighty name of Jesus. When you did awesome things that we did not expect, may God do an excellent thing, an awesome thing, an awesome thing that will beat your imagination. May God perform a miracle. May God surprise you with 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 a breakthrough. May God surprise you with a healing. May God surprise you with deliverance. May God surprise you with favor. May God surprise you. May God surprise you with wonders. 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 May God do wondrous things in your life. May God do wondrous things in your life. May God do wondrous things in your marriage. May God do wondrous things with your finances. May God do wondrous things in your health. May God do wondrous things in your son's life, your daughter's life, your husband's life. May God do wondrous things with your destiny. May God do wondrous things at your workplace. May God do wondrous things with your ministry. May God do wondrous things with your destiny. Raka pa 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 pa. Father, do wondrous things in my life. In the name of Jesus, do wondrous things in my life. In the name of Jesus, do wondrous things in my life. In the name of Jesus, do wondrous things in my life. In the name of Jesus, do wondrous things in my life. Oh God, and show us your salvation. Rend the heavens, oh God. Open the heavens, oh Lord. Come down, oh God, and bless your children. Bless us, oh God. Favor us, oh God. Restore us, oh God. Revive us, oh God. Heal us, oh God. Deliver us, oh God. 
Protect us, O oh God. Shield us, O oh God. Prosper us, O oh God. Reka pa pa pa. Mekan tuni mikataya. Rakanta lakato levede. Masuko prende levatuska. In the name of Jesus. Manta labadaba. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, that you would tear open heavens. Oh, that you will rend the heavens. May God today rend the heavens for your sake. In the name of Jesus. Say, it is finished. It is, finished. It is done. It is done. Amen and amen. amen. Only believe. Only believe. Only believe. And the Bible says, when you did awesome things which we did not expect. Somebody within 24 hours within 48 hours, within 72 hours, God will do awesome things which you did not even expect. Just like yesterday, he embarrassed me by doing something awesome, something magnificent, something supernatural, something incredible that I myself said, Lord, I don't even deserve this. I wasn't even expecting it, but you have done it because you love us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Father. It is finished. It is done. Believe, receive it, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Join us tomorrow at 11 p.m. Eastern Time, U.S. for prayers. 4 a.m. London for those of you in London. 5 a.m. for those of you who are in Europe. Join us for prayers. Subscribe to the channel. Click like and share. Hi, this is Reverend K.L. Blessing. And I want to encourage you to keep on praying and never faint because when we pray mighty things do happen i just released a, a new single song called prayer is the answer and the revelation to this song is that whenever believers christians begins to pray to god god hears our prayers god answers our prayers don't let the devil deceive you into thinking god doesn't answer prayers a lady sent a message through the email and she was sharing her testimony of how her autistic child who could not speak who was having tantrum who was having many challenges because of consistent prayers today the child is able to what concentrate the child is able to dress herself become independent and he has started reading to the amazements of the teachers because they thought he couldn't do all these things but because of consistent prayers I want to encourage you to know that consistency in prayers overcomes every resistance. It doesn't matter what you are going through. It doesn't matter how long it has taken. When we begin to pray to God, we are inviting God into our situation to come and turn situations around. That's why prayer is the answer. Prayer is the answer because when we pray, we call upon Jehovah, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. He who has the answer to every problem. And that's what the Bible says that be anxious for nothing. Worry about nothing. Don't be depressed about any situation. Don't be anxious about about anything but in every situation in every problem in every crisis by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving make your request be made known to god and the peace of god that surpass all human understanding shall keep your heart and mind through christ jesus we have people who have come on the prayer line they came in unemployed a lady was unemployed for almost 11 years jobless by prayer when she connected to the prayer line we encourage her, start fasting, start praying, and be consistent. She started fasting, she started praying. Within one month, she got a job. There are people who were barren. God has opened their womb. One lady came from Virginia. God gave her twins. Why? Because when we pray, God answers prayers. But the devil and the evil spirit and demons will encourage you, discourage you to think that God doesn't answer prayer. Why waste your time in prayer? But prayer is the answer because when we pray, we depend and we rely on God. He has promised us in the book of Jeremiah 33 verse 3, that call upon me and I'll answer you and show you great and mighty things. The God that we serve is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, far above all that we can even think or ask. He says in the book of Matthew chapter 7 verse 7, Ask and it shall be given, seek and you shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened to you. Those who ask, receive. Those who seek, find. Those who knock, the door is open to them. What are you waiting for? It is a marital problem are going through we have many people who were going to divorce they started praying and started believing god started trusting god and god has overturned situations and today their marriages are restored are you going through spiritual marriage are spirits sleeping with you because of that you have conflict or you can't get married start praying start believing 
and be consistent. The key is consistency overcomes resistance problem. When we pray consistently, when we cry out to God in faith, Jesus Christ will answer us. Jesus Christ will come through for us. Jesus Christ will heal us. There are people who are almost dying because of cancer, but because of persistent prayer, God has overturned situation. They are alive. They are healed. They are made whole. Why? Because God still answers prayers. So, so this is a call to prayer that each and every one of us, it doesn't matter... It doesn't matter what you are going through. It doesn't matter what you are facing. Health issues, marital problems, financial challenges, delayed in life, not able to get married, not able to enjoy peace in your marriage. Start praying. Start praying. Precious one, start praying and you shall see the glory of God. Start praying and you shall see the mighty move of God in your life. It, it, you have to pray. Open your mouth. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. A closed mouth is a closed destiny. But when you open your mouth and you, you, you start crying out to God, he will hear your prayer. I'm telling you, God is willing to do exceedingly, abundantly, far above all that you can even think or ask. But you got to ask. You got to come to him and say, Lord, I am desperate for you. Lord, I am, I am, I am, I am in need of your help. And without you, I can do nothing. I've, I've tried everything. I've tried drugs. I've tried therapy. I've tried counseling. I've tried everything. I've resorted to friends, family, and loved ones. No, nobody's able to help me. But Lord Jesus Christ, I know you can turn situations around. I know you can heal me. I know you can deliver me. I know you can restore me. I know you can bless me. So today, I encourage you, start praying again. Start having faith again. Pray until something happens. Don't stop. Pray until something happens. Pray until you see a change. Pray until you see transformation. Pray until the yoke of affliction is broken. The delay is broken. The stagnation is broken. The financial hardship is broken. The curse on your life and your family is broken. Pray until you come out of the generational curse of premature death. Pray until you come out of cancer, or of, of depression, of anxiety. Pray. Pray more and stress less. This is all about the song. Prayer is the answer. Check it out on our YouTube channel. And after this broadcast, I'm going to uh, paste it to the link and just click on the link and we'll listen to the song and let it encourage you to start praying. So after this, even right now, it is uh, it, it, it will be showing right now. Click on it. Prayer is the answer. Listen to it and let it encourage you to start praying now. And you shall see the glory and the goodness of God in the land of the living. I pray for you right now. Whoever it is hearing the sound of my voice, may God answer your prayers speedily and come through for you. Those who are sick, be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who are bound, be loosed by the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Those who are delayed, may God give you divine speed and acceleration. Whatever you, you need in your life, may God open the doors for you. May God open gates for you. May God open doors of opportunity to, for you. May the God visit you. May God visit you and bring healing, restoration. And may God Almighty bring your dreams and visions and your aspirations and resolution for this year may it all come to pass speedily in the mighty name of jesus in the book of psalms 90 verse 14 it says satisfy us early satisfy us early with your mercy that we may rejoice and be glad may god satisfy you this year early may god satisfy you early may there be a rejoicing and gladness because god has visited you god has visited your marriage god has visited your health god has visited your finances god has touched your son your daughter god has restored your family god has come through for you god has opened doors for you. God has connected you to your divine helpers, your destiny helpers. Things are beginning to make go, move on. You have passed the exams. You've won the court case. You are seeing victory. You are seeing progress. You are seeing success. No more delay. No, no more stagnation. God has delivered you from demonic attacks, witchcraft attacks, evil foundation, generational curse, and you are beginning to see the manifestation of his glory in your life. I pray that whatever embargo, whatever injunction, whatever has restricted you, may, the, 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 may every limitation on your life be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Prayer is the answer. God bless you. Bye.